Hey YouTube, today we're going to check out the Yo-Yo Empire, The Edge. This is the Yo-Yo Empire, The Edge, version 2. I bought this Yo-Yo on AliExpress for around $25. So the Edge 2 is a bimetal version of the first Edge by Yo-Yo Empire. Even with such a large packaging, it only included one string. The bimetal ring does look like it's stainless steel, but I wasn't able to find much information about this yo-yo. There's a little catch zone under the rim that should help with doing thumb grinds. And with the soft blasted finish, it also makes body grinds easy to do. There's a slight mount in the center of the cup, so finger spins will be slightly off center. Edge 2 comes in at 56.7 millimeters in diameter, 44.2 millimeters in width, 67.9 grams in weight, and has a 4.5 millimeter string gap. Looks like this yo-yo came with a shielded, concave style bearing. Spins really smoothly. So let's put this all together and see how it plays. So the Edge is a bimetal yo-yo by Yo-Yo Empire. I actually use this same one for the online world yo-yo contest. And the main reason why I chose this yo-yo is primarily the really massive rim weight. Overall, the yo-yo is very heavy, so we'll try out some horizontals in a little bit. Because I do know that with the weight, it's going to be a little tough to be able to land horizontals. But it is a bimetal. I haven't checked to see if the if the rim is stainless steel or aluminum, like some other companies that try to market it as a bimetal. Very first impression is very heavy, really, really heavy, very powerful. Due to the weight, it's kind of really hard to actually play really fast. It's got a hook lip underneath the rim, so you can land those kind of like thumb grinds, finger grinds right underneath the lip there. The finish on the body is actually very smooth. So body grinds could be done with ease and since it's a bimetal there's a lot of weight on the rims. The center of the cup isn't flat, it has kind of like this small mount that sticks out. So I'm not sure how you'll do with horizontal with some finger spins but I still have trouble trying to get it back to my hand but it's actually because it has a very soft finish it does really well with finger spins due to the weight and the size of the yo-yo I don't know how well it's gonna perform with side style it's kind of hard you've got to really plan how the yo-yo is gonna react and it's pretty hard you could still do it but there's obviously a lot of other yo-yos that you could use to be able to do your side style. Let's check out the vibe. So I've been primarily practicing indoors and using this indoors. But this is very smooth. There's a tiny vibe right on this outer but even between the rims or the rings. This is a very, very smooth yo-yo. 
overall, if you're looking for an affordable bimetal yo-yo that's <laughs> that's as heavy as a tank, the, this Edge really is a very good choice to go with. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.